Hey, we got Drew's views here and I'm back for a little Car Tuesday, reacting to them cartoons on Tuesday. And today, Teen Titans Season 4, Episode 12, the penultimate episode of Season 4. This is the end, Part 2. Yes, we got a three-part finale on our hands here with season four. I'm, I'm right in, in the sand, the meat of the sandwich on this one. I predicted last time that this would be, this would be, you know, with a three-part, we're going to have the lowest point uh, in the second of three episodes. So we'll see if that happens. You know, the end of the first part, the Titans, uh, meaning Robin, Star, BB, and Cyborg, did their best to stop Raven from going to meet her destiny, but it was their best wasn't good enough. They had like a secret, yeah, panic room situation, but she left it because they were getting whooped up by, uh, kind of by Slade, but mostly by these like flame, this flame army he was like theoretically leading, although he wasn't really in charge of them. Slade, of course, got betrayed by Trigon, who's, you know, we saw in his that kind of devil form last time after Raven showed up and said she's agreeing to the prophecy. So I was also speculating that the, the remaining Titans might have to work with Slade, team up. It would be interesting. You know, maybe they won't go there. I'm sure like Robin, for example, would never, you know, would hate that more than anything. But again, that could be certainly a low point then for everyone. And it will be obviously a low point for Raven here unless she has a secret plan to foil her father, Trigon. So I'm hoping that's the case. We'll see. Either way, you know, something is gonna happen where it's gonna look at least like it's all over for everyone, for the world, for Earth. Seems like Trigon wants to kind of destroy things and rule the ashes. I don't know if he has a larger plan than that. Hopefully that, you know, that's something I would hope as well, you know, some want to see some more uh, kind of interesting um, dynamics from the main villain here uh, other than just you know destroy the world just for the hell of it but you know we'll see if we get that but yeah uh, I'm ready to get into part two here let's do it let's see what Raven and Co is cooking up All right, so the low point, if it was, is Robin having to team up with Slade, uh, who was at a low point himself, stumbling around at the end there, looking weak, having you know, Robin seeing his face, which was not a face, it was just a skull. And then uh, the other three team members having to fight themselves, get taunted by themselves because they know everything that goes on in their heads, obviously. And uh, then Raven not in the episode at all, except uh, at the very end there. I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be, you know, we only saw it for a second. Was she like regressed age-wise or just acting like that? I couldn't quite tell. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna have to deal with that and the finale there. And then, you know, Star, Sai, and BB will have to defeat themselves, I guess. So yeah, Trigon was, uh, you know, they were attacking him and he's like, nah, it's beneath me, you can fight yourselves, basically. So interesting, he's just sitting there on this kind of throne thing, getting uh, stronger, I guess. But yeah, the plan is to distract him while he has Slade, and I guess gets his body back, full metal Agama style. And um, Robin gets Raven there, yeah. So Raven, I guess, last time, when she told him to be safe, she gave him some of her power and then that allowed them not to get Pompeii like the rest of the world seemingly did. Yeah, so that's interesting. It's cool seeing them link up and do those uh, Zinthos against Dragon, even though it didn't work. Oh yeah, but Slade gave them a ring that allowed them to survive so much against Dragon and uh, I guess allowed himself to survive last time during the betrayal, but... Yeah, so when he was killed, seemingly killed in the conflict with Terra, in the lava there, um, burned all the skin off and everything, and then, but then Trigon had saved him as I surmised, but then 
cast them away again. So yeah, well, we never saw Slade's face yet. We haven't seen it yet, what it really looks like before he got <laughs> it taken off. Because um, now he looks actually more like the Lich, uh, Ron, his, uh, Ron Perlman's, uh, uh, one of his other voice acting uh, famous roles, Adventure Time. But yeah, we'll see if he's in the next one you know, comes back. I, I would assume he would, I guess, but him and Robin split off there. So I would assume how they're going to save things is Robin getting Raven back to who she was or I'm figuring something out. Like, obviously, she must be able to reverse things and stop. Try again, reverse things some way, and like the world's just not gonna be destroyed. I know there's a season five, so they gotta be able to flip things back. I'll see how they do it next time. What wrenches get thrown in the mix there? Yeah, how Star Sign BB are able to defeat themselves and keep distracting Trigon and see if the whole team links back up again. Will they get a five way whole team, uh, Metreon Zinthos against them? I'll be looking out for that. But yeah, join me back next time for the big finale, the end, part three. And until then, this is the end, part two of this reaction. Peace. If I ever see you again, I wouldn't expect anything less.